um, broke down and bought some like good flashcards and we are just switching over from the double sided ones. I realized that they didn't have the higher, like these higher addition and subtraction problems with the higher numbers. The ones I just had for the Dollar Tree, like they got me by for, I don't know, like two years with William and, but they're just, they are harder. I just, just anyways, for many reasons, if you work with flashcards and math facts, you understand why it's beneficial to have them single, only one math fact per card. I bought these ones off of Amazon. They came really quickly, but they're perfect. They're really similar to, um, you know, the Robinson curriculum ones, but they're a little smaller. Um, which is something I kind of wanted. Um, and yeah, they only have one. It's just very simple. Nothing distracting on the front. See how there's like no extra anything. So I have been going through the process of um, just quizzing William. William's a, he's seven. And so we've gone through the subtraction facts through 12 and the addition facts through 12. We've gone through those sets. They do come like they, so far they've all had some blank ones in there, which is kind of nice because if you lose any, <laughs> hold on to these because you can just make replacement cards or use them for whatever you want to. So that took, so I did this one like on the, I did addition on the first day, subtraction on the second day. Whatever ones he missed, I actually just pulled out and not necessarily missed. I will say what I consider to be a mastered fact is when I like hold up the fact, I count one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. And then if they don't have it by then, I show them and I put it into the practice more, put it back in the tin. Um, yeah, since you have so many more cards when there's single, only a single fact per card, they aren't all going to fit in my tin anymore. So the ones that he did have mastered, I just put them back into their box. And um, I'll link these down below for you if you're interested. It's kind of nice because if you don't want to buy the entire RC flashcard set, which is kind of, you know, a little chunk of change, if you only needed to work on addition or something, like you can put, you can piece these together. And I want to say it was, a, overall, it was all about the same price. But if, yeah, if you wanted to piece it out, you could. Or, you know, if they already have all their addition and subtraction mastered, you're like, I don't need to buy the whole big set. I just need to work on multiplication and division. Then you could just buy what you need. You know what I mean? Anyways, there was just a little bit more flexibility with these sets. Anyway, so yeah, I've just been putting the ones that are mastered back in there. The ones, if he doesn't answer them quick enough, or if I can see that he's trying to figure it out or count up or something like that in his head, I'm like, nope, it's not because we want to go for memorized. And I'm just sticking them in here. Yeah, so today I'm going to go to the higher addition and subtraction. That's uh, the plan and see how he does there. And um, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys another option for flashcards. All right, I'll link everything for you below. They're really nice.